Hello again, and welcome back to Medieval 2. So in our last video, we managed to make our way through the freak show to find out about this pale, for pale thorn character. And now we're going to move on to I, what I believe is the observatory. And I also got some new weapon like the crossbow, so with that out of the way, let's just go over there and see what this whole observatory thing is about. And here it is. So, give me a brief information on this mission, Professor. Greenwich. Winston's done some reconnaissance. He says he saw something weird going on at the observatory. If Palethorn's behind it, he must be stopped. Okay, that's not exactly what I was expecting, but thanks. Anyway, so, we're going to have to go into the Greenwich Observatory to see what's going on. And before we do that, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And press the notification bell to be notified for anything that's going on. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's begin this mission. Now that we've made it our way to the area that we're supposed to, let's go see if we can find Winston. And this is the park, so let's just see where it's going on. Winston? Oh, I remember this. And my head is in the bird's nest. So, yeah. I kind of remember this now. I'm going to have to retrieve some of my head in some point. You lost your head, Dan. Swing between head and body using L1 plus triangle. If you find your head, L1 plus triangle will put it back on. Alright. Let me see where that is, though. I can't tell where it is, but it's on top of the building, and there are zombies here and there. That stupid seagull got it. Seagull or vulture, I don't know. But I'm gonna have to get my head back. One way or the other. And there's sailor zombies. See if I can use my crossbow on this bird. Guess I can. So we're here in the observatory. Let me see if I can find my head now. And there I am. Okay. Almost half full of the chalice. Let me just get my head real quick. Right after I take care of these guys. I don't know if that did the trick. No, it did not. Okay. Dane, I've looked around. There's something going on in the observatory, but the entrance is barred. Perhaps you can find another way of getting in. Go and see what's across the river. Right after I find my head, Winston. Yeah, 
get out of here, chicken. And there's my head. Come here. Man, that was a pain. Well, not exactly a pain, but if it took long, then it is a pain. So let's head to the dock, which I believe is the river, and see what's going on. If we can get to the observatory, or find our way to the observatory. More of them. Sailors, obviously. Alright, there's nothing in this part. And there's a nest. Hold up, there's something up there. Oh, another one. Alright, now let's get down and see where I have to go. Oh, I remember these creatures. So, these are a new enemy. There are these green octopus things, squid, that takes the form of the zombie's body, making them more powerful and faster. So if there are remaining bodies around, they can just control it. But, if you have no head, your skull is gone, it'll take control of your body and that'll be a bit difficult to deal with because they'll take most of your most of your life away. I just take care of these guys just in case they get them. right there so I'm not gonna waste time with this there we go This body before. There we go. There we go. Now we're done. Let me see what he has. That's good for now. Okay, let's go through this boat thing. What's going on? Them birds pesky, aren't they? See if you can use your head to solve this puzzle. It should work like any other item in your inventory. Okay, so it looks like we have ourselves a puzzle. Let me see here. I guess I have to place my head in this thing. And let's see now. It looks like I'm gonna have to look through this thing. But I can't do it because this is in the way, my body. Let me see if I can see it the best I can. So perhaps this is going to be... Take a while to get through this. Or if I can just push myself into the camera. That makes... 
even easier for me to see through it. Okay, so most of it is... I can see it, this... It shows how to... Alright, so basically this dial thing, you have to hit it where... which you have to do it. I'm just gonna have to take my time to do this. Okay, I'm lost, so let's see what I'm going to have to try. Let me do this one more time. Oh, okay, so that's what I'm doing wrong. Alright, so basically I was supposed to hold two trigger at the same time. So one is full, this one, second one's half, third one's fourth is full two, and okay. Four, two, four, three. Got it. So I guess that's the puzzle that I've been looking all this time wrong. Four. Two. And there we go. Alright, so basically I'm gonna let them if some of people are having trouble with this, you're going to have to look through this thing. Just try pressing the trigger at the same time. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a lot of editing in this video real soon. Just so I can save time. And I'm guessing there are more of these things around. That was right. Take care of these guys. And I've completed the chalice. So let me just go down here and take care of these guys. Down. And yes, I gotta destroy their bodies before these giant squid these squid things could take over. took care of that just let me give me a moment to explore around okay that was weird let me see okay that look, looks like everything's taken care of so now we can get up there and Try to get that chalice. Alright. And there's a switch over there as well. Got it. And treasures. Looks like that raises up this thing. I'm gonna have to go back now. Hmm. Let me 
me see if I can hit this switch again. Nope, I cannot. Oh, okay. I just have to jump on top of this. Alright, so based on my health, I'm gonna have to go back and regenerate it. So this may take a while. Alright, so we're back. I went over there to get the health back, so looks like we're gonna have to make it through, make it into this area where it takes me. Right, more areas here and there. And this weird balloon thing. Alright Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Alright, so looks like we're gonna have to do more area scurving in somewhat those pirates terms. Somehow I'm gonna get to get through this area. Oh yes, there's cannons in those things, so I gotta be careful not to run across it. Looks like that can took care of that problem for me. And there's that bird. Another bird. And looks like this place is very protective. Doesn't want any intruder coming through. Looks like this is the only area place I should go. More of these things. Switches. Let me see what these switches are for. Hmm. 
Some sort of submarine. You know what, I'm just gonna check for a moment. Give me a moment. Something's over there. Another one of this. So let's see what this thing is for. I know it's something, I can't tell which, which is for. And I'm beginning to lose my voice too. All right, there we go. Now I can do that thing. And there's something over there. Okay. Almost there. Just one more. And time to grab it. Whatever that thing is. Uh, a bellow. Okay. A bellows. So it looks like I'm going to have to use that on something. Oh, forgot my head. Of course. Doi. Yes, we will. So, hold up. Let's just place this bellow, according to that shape over there, on top of this. Let's see. Right, we're gonna have to use this torch to light the bellow. Here we go. Just jump until it works. And there we go. I wonder where it takes me. Who are these guys? I keep wondering. Commander, is it ready? Yes, Master. At the press of a button, the great scope will find all the pages of the spell book. Good. Start the machine. Start the machine. Yes, soon. Soon it will all be mine. What the devil? No! What have we got here? Meddlesome fool. Do you know what you've ruined? Manda, deal with this wretch. Time to break some bones, dogman. Bones, bones, bones. Shut up. Alright, so I'm guessing that person is Pale Thorn. And looks like we're in the middle of a boss fight now. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to use some more 
suitable tool to take care of these guys. thing. I'm guessing that's the next boss. Alright, that takes care of that dog thing. Now I need to deal with that lizard. Yeah, that was easy. I don't think they'll be bothering me anymore. Now that we took care of these guys and met already Pale Thorn. Let's talk to the professor. See what he has to say. Fortescue, well done, my friend. You thwarted Pale Thorn. Winston tells me about his fiendish scheme, and it's our first piece of good news. If he hasn't got all the pages of the spellbook, then he hasn't got full control of the undead. If we can get to them before he does, then we just might stand a chance of defeating him. Sorry, no time to chat. If you're ready, let's get this show on the road! Right, but first let me just get my new weapon. Let me see what... Pick this weapon. It's better than it looks, I can tell you. And we got ourselves the battle axe. Or just simply axe. Alright, so once again I'm gonna have to end this video here, so... Yeah, I'm going to be doing some editing in this as well because of uh, some stuff to, because of the puzzle thing, you know. But yeah, thank you for watching my video. And as always, make sure you leave a thumbs up, a like, comment down below, subscribe, and press the notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.